Hi Hillview, I'm Oliver with our last episode of HVTV for the year. Don't worry, we'll be back in 2017. On today's episode, we will find out about Hillview's amazing musician, a PSA on how to handle peer pressure, and a hawk squawk about inventing a new holiday. Sit back and get relaxed, because HVTV starts right now. <laughs> For some, playing an instrument is something that we are forced to do by our parents, but for many, creating music is not only their choice, but their passion. Here is Josh, Jack, and Jason with the story. Meet Hannah Drucker. She is an eighth grader here at Hillview who has a passion for music. I started flute when I was five years old because my parents suggested me playing an instrument and I was really into how the flute looked. I thought it was all shiny and stuff. My achievement is to be able to play with like a good symphony all together and for auditions, you know, you might not get first flute or top flute, but that just teaches you to keep pushing and pushing yourself until you reach your goal. If Hannah chooses to become a professional musician, the best advice I could give her is to persevere, to just keep trying. It's a, it's a hard, hard profession to get into, uh, but there's always an outlet and, and places to play no matter what, whether or not it's a big symphony, whether or not it's in a rock band. Hannah learned that in order to achieve her goal, she had to practice. I know that that's the only way I can achieve my goal of being a better flutist and encourage myself to practice every day. Everyone has had something they have achieved in their life, we asked Hannah what her first achievement was. I was in PYO, which is a Peninsula Youth Orchestra, and I was in a wind ensemble with other flutes, and I got to do a solo, and it was kind of scary, but it was pretty cool. Hannah tries to memorize her music so that she can feel a stronger connection to it when she is playing. So sometimes it feels a little stressful to play in front of big audiences, but most of the time I really connect to the music by feeling um, the rhythm and the theme of the music flow. So watch out James Galway because Hannah's coming your way. Reporting for HVTV, I'm Josh Reutman with Jason Dehoff and Jack Hansen. Peer pressure. It's something you hear about in school, but what is it really? Is it some six foot tall guy in a leather jacket trying to get you to smoke a cigarette? Or is there more of a scientific explanation as to what happens to your brain when it is under pressure? HVTV reporters Jack and Jason, along with special help from Devin Leslie, created an experiment to see what happens to Hillview students under pressure. Hi, my name is Jason DeHoff, and I am a journalist for HVTV. We are in the tank conducting a social experiment. The rules of the game are simple. You have to decide which line on the right matches the line on the left. Take a closer look. Got it? Before we show you the answer, let's see what these Hillview students think. It looks like B. 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 It looks like everybody's going with B. B. Do they know something you don't? Take a closer look. Are you going to trust the group or your gut? B. It turns out the answer is C. You probably chose C first, but after watching your peers all choose B, peer pressure might have influenced you to change your choice. B? In case you haven't figured it out yet, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. The first six people in line were all acting, and when we ran the experiment, they were instructed to pick B, the wrong answer. B. 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 Seeing all their peers choose B gave the last person in line who was not in on it a hard decision. I followed the crowd because everybody else said B, so I was like, oh, maybe it is B. She could have either gone with her gut or with the pack. However, not all of our test subjects fell for it. C. Don't beat yourself up if you went along with the group. It's normal behavior. B. 
did you find yourself trusting the others more than you trusted yourself? Yes, because other people might be correct when you're not, but not always. I thought it might have been C, but then I changed my mind because I wanted to go with the food. We're trusting the wisdom of the crowd, right? Yes. But I didn't want to look like I was dumb. I thought that they might have been correct and I was somehow wrong. Have you ever ignored the truth just to fit in the group? Studies show that when your opinion is different from the rest of the groups, a part of your brain called the cingulate cortex produces an error signal that tries to modify your opinion to be in line with the group, even if you know it is wrong. Peer pressure is real. Don't let it influence your everyday decisions. Trust your gut. I'm Jason D. Hoff with Devin Leslie, Rachel Fingerman, and photojournalist Jack Hansen. Thank you for that interesting piece on peer pressure. Okay, now it's that time again. Hawk Squawk, we asked you what special gifts are you giving this holiday season? Here's what you have to say. Ashley alive. I would give someone a banana because he needs to be healthy. <laughs> Some friends. Oh, yeah, right, because wait, she doesn't up. have any. He likes bananas and he likes monkeys. I'm gonna put this on you, Hawks, because I need help. I have a 12-year-old severely autistic niece, and she is the biggest fan of Paw Patrol. But being 12, she's really tall for a preschool kind of TV show, and I want to get her pajamas or something really, really cool because she has every single stuffed animal. So, Hawks, if you have little siblings out there and you can think of a really cool Paw Patrol gift that I could give to her, that'd be great. Thanks. I would give my friend Bridie chickens because her chickens keep dying from raccoons. I would give Mr. Mead some kind of truth telling or truth checking machine so he could stop spreading lies about me or on campus. I would give my brother this stuffed animal that he really wants. Part of our Christmas tradition at my house is we always do stockings. So I always give to e either of my daughters a bag of gnocchi. I would give Willow here a uh, Starbucks gift card because I know how much she loves that stuff. Because the question is always, have you been gnocchi or nice? Uh, I would give it to my brother and I would give him nothing because he deserves it. <laughs> well, Hawks, that's it for today. It's been a great last episode of HVTV for 2016, but there will be many more to come. So remember, Hawks, make it a great year or not, the choice is always yours. Teachers, please stay tuned for any special announcements.